Danny Catool, the butcher, back with you guys today to talk about some beef brisket. And more importantly, how to smoke a beef brisket. Now, when you're talking about a beef brisket in general, I got the whole thing right here. We call this a Texas style brisket. And the reason being in Texas, they like to smoke all their beef briskets. I know, I'm starting to make you hungry. I'm starting to make myself hungry. Slow, long, apple, cherry wood, all that infusing flavors into the rub. Beef brisket sandwiches the day after. It's gonna be tough to get through this segment without eating. You're gonna have to get through it. I'm gonna be able to eat. I got it made. All right, so the difference between a Texas brisket and a trim Texas brisket and a regular beef brisket that you often see in the counter. Now, most of the reason being behind it is actually the fat. Now, this whole beef brisket comes from the plate. That comes from the front of the beef. It would be laid on right about, right about here. Basically the breast of the cow. Now, as that beef brisket, if it would be extended on, where it comes from right here, is where we get beef bacon. So the equivalent of pork, where this area right here, which is missing, just where it touches the brisket, that would be bacon, also known as the belly. So pork, bacon, beef, bacon, you got it, it comes from right here. So yes, there is a pork brisket, because right next to where that pork bacon comes from, there is a pork brisket here. Now, our beef brisket sizes range from anywhere from like four to six pounds already completely trimmed pigs, because they are literally, uh, a fifth of the size of beef, you're looking at like a two pound pork brisket. Still really good on the smoker too. A good butcher would have it. I happen to know one, you can check us out online. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the fat levels of the brisket. Um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my magic. So we got this whole big Texas brisket, great for smoking, you put the rub on the back, you see that nice Ohio beef, that's right. Prime, lots of flavor. This bad boy, smoke this one for about an hour per pound. We're looking at weight wise, somewhere around like 14 pounds, so right around like 12 to 14 hours. Low, slow, 200 degrees, let this thing just, just rock. Let all that felt, the fat just melt away. It'll be perfect. Let's say you're not smoking, or let's say you want to smoke it one day. You don't want to smoke this thing overnight. We're going to do a trim Texas brisket. Still the same flavor, a lot less flat, and you can be able to cut down the time. And when you got beef that's prime, like we sell here, still gonna have that great flavor. And it's just hanging off the hook. This is true beef brisket. Not, never touch the cry back so we know it's fresh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it up. I'm gonna show you what a trim Texas looks like. And then when that's done, I'm gonna get it all done, ready to do a brisket flat so you can see the difference.
And all right. All right, now we got our trim Texas brisket. Got about an eighth of an inch trim on the top, a little bit of fat to protect the beef as you're smoking it, or if you want to slow grill it, you can do that as well. Um, again, about an eighth of an inch fat on the bottom. Um, we took off a good amount of you know, beef trim here that we are not going to use. Now this was helping protect it, but again, when you don't have a whole day to smoke, I, I understand it. You know, if you want to do something like six, eight hours, you'd be able to do something like this Texas brisket, still have a bunch of flavor, not have to worry about messing around with that fat, and then you're good to go. Um, this is my favorite part right here of the brisket. We call that burnt ends, and the reason being it's an exposed piece of beef, so as the brisket has the top layer of fat and the bottom layer of fat, this piece right here is exposed. There's no fat to protect it, but it still has a ton of bold flavor, almost like the, the top or the bottom of a ribeye. Not the hard part, but like the really spongy, flavorful, awesome goodness part. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We got this part here. It's gonna get really burnt on the sides, but the inside is gonna be like medium rare like the rest of the brisket. Um, they are sold often for a higher price per pound when you get them at a place that has cooked beef brisket, um, like the really cool places that you see on the Food Network. This part right here, if good butcher shops like ours, we also have it separately than the beef brisket. Lots of flavor to do something really small on the grill. Okay, so Texas brisket, we're gonna be smoking this too. Now you often see a brisket flat. I'm gonna do a little trim up, show you what a brisket flat is, and also show you some recipes you use for the flat, the trim Texas, and the full Texas. Rock and roll. There you go. We got a nice brisket flat there. We took that 14 and a half pound monstrosity of a Texas brisket and we, we turned it into a four pound brisket flat. So 10 pounds of some may call fat and others may call flavor. This helps protect it when it's smoking. This brisket right here, be wonderful braised in the oven. A little bit of liquid, you get to red wine and beef broth, maybe you cut up a couple onions, some garlic, slow cook it. You can also pull apart to make like pulled beef brisket in a slow cooker, such as a crock pot. Fantastic either way you want to, either way you want to do it, whether you want to do that or this. Obviously, not as much fat to protect it if you are going to grill it, so I would recommend st sticking with a really low grill, but leave the flavor on. Do a trim Texas brisket. Trust me, it'll be well worth it. All right, I'm gonna sell this one out on the counter, and next time up, we are going to be rubbing down a brisket, show you how it looks like before it's ready for a smoker, get you a secret recipe for one of my rubs, and then also show you the different rubs that we sell here at Catullo's. Talk to you soon, my meatheads. Yeah, good.